project was looking at competitive behaviors of female athletes and we were looking at all the various behaviors that surround competition. Not really surprisingly, you saw, uh, or we found that uh, athletes enacted more of a competitive orientation than non-athletes. And so it makes sense, they're living this, uh, a, lot of, a big part of their lives and a lot of time spent in this kind of thing. But what I found really interesting was the way that they enacted that competitive behavior. And so um, one of the things that they identified was something called trash talking um, on the field and off the field to, to kind of um, show that they were really into the competition, show their kind of athletic prowess. Um, but was really interesting. What was interesting is that they, it wasn't directly towards their, their opponent, and so I thought it would be more on the field, kind of bantering back and forth. But in reality, a lot of this stuff happened off the field, and so it happened in locker rooms. Uh, it might happen on van rides and uh, maybe eating afterwards or whatever. But so this this competitive behavior happened, and the trash talking happened, but it wasn't engaging directly with those uh, with the competitors. Uh, I would say for me as someone in sports psychology, I was most interested in the role the coach played and how he or she really set the social norm for the team. So the competitive behavior of the athletes was heavily dictated by what the coach modeled and also what the coach seemed to think was acceptable. Because Bonnie and I are in health and exercise science and Sarah is in communications, we came at the project from different perspectives. Even within health and exercise science, Bonnie and I have very different backgrounds. So I'm in sports psychology, she's more interested in physical education and coaching. So we all had a different interest to the project and then came at it from different theoretical perspectives as well as different methodological perspectives. So I think we all brought a unique interest and perspective to the project. Yeah, I gained a lot. I thought it was really a fun project. Um, I thought that I actually had a chance to sit in on um, Sarah Walter from Com Studies classes and to look at some of the research and the ways that she approaches athletics and competitive behavior through communication, maybe how the media influences, uh, helped me to look at things from a different perspective as well. Uh, I think the thing that I most enjoyed about the collaboration is really um, getting different perspectives and having the opportunity to meet and just bounce ideas off of people who I may not have met uh, otherwise. You know, So um, we see each other on campus, we knew that our research interests were somewhat aligned, but what the really uh, exciting part, I guess, was um, kind of going together, thinking about these different topics, and then thinking about how the, uh, we can really look in, uh, and investigate these things and complement each other's ideas. So the timing for this project was quite serendipitous for me. I just finished writing an Oxford, a chapter for the Oxford Handbook of Women in Competition, and I wrote about women in competitive sports settings. So I came in with this knowledge from just having finished this book chapter that really informed what I could contribute to the project. Well, I think what I've enjoyed most is, like any college or university, a professor can get fairly isolated in their own buildings. And so to be able to work with colleagues on something that we all shared a passion on was awesome. It was really exciting and um, made the research that much more beneficial. My favorite things about Gustavus uh, are opportunities like these. So opportunities to kind of see ideas through, bring together different parts of the campus. Uh, I love teaching at Gustavus. I've just been here since the fall. Uh, my favorite part is, of course, the students. Uh, they bring a lot of energy to the classroom. They are actively engaged, they're fun, they're interested, and they're very funny. So I've had a really wonderful time in the past two semesters teaching at Gustavus. I just want to thank the Mobius Initiative. I think that this um, initiative was a great way for us to dive deeper, interdisciplinary with other people from around campus, and give back to um, not only share within ourselves, but get back, give back to the community at large. Thank you.